My name is Alexandra Turdoglu and um, I am an instructor of neurology at Harvard Medical School. Um, we uh, study the human brain, the most complex biological system in nature. It was um, a Greek physician, Alcman of Croton, in 6th century BC that was the first to claim that it is the brain, not the heart, that it is um, the central organ of sensation and thought. Here in our lab, um, we are I'm working in collaborating with uh, two different labs. We use uh, neuroimaging techniques to study the human brain organization. And so we're trying to look at the relationship between brain anatomy, physiology, and behavior in uh, healthy individuals and in those with uh, neurodegenerative uh, diseases. Um, I come from uh, Greece, the country of Hippocrates and Aristotle. Um, my parents were not scientists. For both me and my sister were real uh, role models. They are very hardworking people. Um, and they taught me the skills that apply to every field, how to care about my work, how to be hardworking, uh, their energy, and their really commitment to settle no less than the best has uh, have strongly influenced um, the kind of scientist that I wanted to be. In my country, there's a tradition the top students to get to hold the attendance book during class or to get held to hold the Greek flag during parades. Uh, there's no question that the edu education that I received from Greece and the support that I got from my family helped me, were critical in helping me achieve uh, my goals. Uh, the major focus of our areas is um, uh, human memory. Uh, we also look at attention and emotion and the brain systems that are involved in those functions and how these functions change with aging and dementia. In typical, in a typical day, we put uh, people in the scanner, people lie in the scanner, and we ask them to perform a task. For the next six minutes, it is really important that you stay as still as possible. You can blink normally, but it is important that you keep your eyes open. When you are ready to remain as still as possible from head to toe, please say ready. Ready. Okay, here we go. Sometimes we ask them to try to remember something or to learn something. Sometimes we show them pictures that are disturbing, emotionally evocative, and we ask them how they feel. Or some other times we just ask them to do absolutely nothing which is, in this case, we basically measure the spontaneous activity of the brain. Uh, we know that when two neurons fire together, it becomes easier for one to trigger the other. And when two neurons work together frequently, then they spontaneously um, fire together. And so we can measure this spontaneous brain activity to really understand how the neurons are organized in an interesting way. One of the scientific observations really interesting that uh, we and others have been making is that you can really measure the strength of communication between these regions, between different regions of one network, and be able to predict um, other people's abilities. The basic idea when it comes to clinical applicability of this is that you can really use the, the strength of connectivity between regions of one network uh, as a brain marker of a brain system's uh, integrity. And you use that in order to be able to detect differences in neurological and psychiatric disorders. We believe that these imaging tools offer um, the potential for the identification of um, individuals with earlier symptoms of dementia. I would say to young people that in medical science you are given the opportunity to do something important, something that lasts, something that is bigger than you. In science you get to have collaborations with people from around the world. Um, so you can go to conferences and meet really smart people, interesting people, exchange ideas. Science is about knowledge and innovation, being systematic, but also uh, thinking outside of the box. And um, I would say one of the things that comes with doing innovating science, 
building a protocol that no one else has ever done before is that there are some times that you uh, make mistakes. There are some times where you hit a, a dead end and you have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, but there are other times, there are other times where you discover something and you get this eureka moment. And these moments are very special. Thank you.